Nobody had any idea what was going to happen on October 10th. A number of Gulf Power employees hold up in this building during the storm, watching Michael destroy the area around them. Flooding and down trees were just a few of the team's initial observations. Little did they know how bad the rest of the panhandle was damaged. Just seeing the, the trees and the water um, and the fact that there was no communication, I knew that it was going to be a challenge, but I also knew that we were up to the challenge. The power grid had to be completely rebuilt, a task that had a grueling two-week deadline looming over Gulf Power staff and linemen. It wasn't easy, but it was achievable. 14 days was our goal. We did it in 13 days. So I don't want to let that go without mentioning that our team not only rose to the challenge, they beat the challenge. 13 days, an impressive feat considering how bad the lines were and how much work had to be done, but they weren't alone. I can't think of anything we would change. We had an all hands on deck approach. We had people sitting in Atlanta, Georgia, ordering every transformer they could find and having them drop shipped. But despite what many would consider a heroic effort to restore power, residents still question why lines weren't rebuilt underground to prevent this from happening again. And the answer is simple. To design and build those lines underground, we wouldn't have power today. It's a very involved design process from substations out and we knew that restoring power was integral to this community moving forward. And we can't forget the lives of those three linemen that were tragically lost in the weeks following the storm. While safety measures were in place, there's always room to improve. That's probably what they would consider the most dangerous part of their job. So we set up traffic control and do everything in our power to ensure that their um, safety and they put those safeguards in place, but it's really um, up to the public to, to be on, on the lookout for us as well. As far as lessons learned from the storm, Sim says she's working closely with local government officials to imagine a more resilient infrastructure in the future that could sustain a natural disaster as powerful as Michael. What it showed me is you develop a plan and you work the plan. And what we found is our plan works. Are there ways we can improve that? Absolutely. And we're doing that. Kelly Grossfield, News 13, Panhandle Strong.